Hi, I'm Paul Coster with the Broadband Academy. Um, we're going to showcase a underground four-port tap. In this pedestal we have opened up, we have our underground cable coming in um, and it is being connectorized to this four-port tap and this comes in with an in and an out. Uh, this type of tap, just like our two-port, four-port, and eight-port tap that I've showcased before, are passive devices. Passive means they don't need power to work. The power comes actually from the signal itself. Uh, you can see that this one port here has a termination device and each device that is connected in the network um, will have a drop cable coming off going to the customer's service uh, network interface device or network, network interface unit. Taps that don't or that aren't in service should have this termination and that prevents any type of RF leakage. And you do not want RF leakage. The FCC regulates the leakage and um, there is a DB level that you can uh, uh, are allowed in your network and you'll go out and test your whole plant for um, any type of leakages on your system. This concludes the four port underground tap video.